Alright guys, today we're going to be going over the biggest Arduino kit I have ever seen. It is huge. It's called the Colossus Kit by G.A.R. Goliath Automation and Robotics. Alright, so some of you guys may know a &R Robotics, which is now known as G.A.R., which is Goliath Automation and Robotics. You probably know of the Monster Kit by G-A-N-R. Well, this kit is even bigger than it. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Alright, so this is the whole case of the kit. And you see it comes in a Husky case, so it's very durable. Alright, this looks pretty big right here, but it's even bigger. The whole thing folds out into a double layer case. It's absolutely huge, and I'm going to go through all of the parts in this kit. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So I'm going to go container by container. Let me review the parts. So here's our first container. Inside of it, here's a box. And inside of the box is power supply with Arduinos. And also some male headers. In our next box, we have the USB TTL ESP8266 module, two wireless adapters, and the ESP8266-01. And these next two containers are some bags, and they have LEDs, buttons, button caps, potentiometers, RGB LEDs, they have all kinds of stuff in them. There's also a relay, but I just put that in there. And this next container is lots of resistors, so these resistors I already took out of them, and two bags full of tons and tons of resistors, all kinds of them. In this connect container, we have the ESP8266, the ESP32, the Arduino Nano, And the ESP8266-01 adapter. In this container are some stepper motors. Two stepper motors. Along with it, two stepper motor controller boards. And here is just the USB flash drive. Which includes all the PDFs, ebooks, and everything you need to get started with the kit. For this container, it had a bag, and I just went ahead and took everything out of the bag. It has a photoresistor, a capacitor, a buzzer, a shift register, another buzzer, a thermistor, a seven segment display. A transistor, there's actually two transistors in the kit, a L293D motor driver, and another capacitor. In this container, we have a four seven segment display, a joystick module, and a rotary encoder. In this part of the box, there was two breadboards multiple jumper wires, a warranty card, and just a sticker. This is Colossus on it, which is the name of the kit. And in here is a breadboard wire kit. Alright, there's a ton of stuff in this part of the section, which had an LCD screen shield, a keypad shield actually, a mega, 
a Ethernet shield, the Funduino joystick shield, which has had multiple buttons and a joystick, CNC shield, Uno sensor shield, a Mega prototype shield, a Mega sensor shield, the Uno Wi Fi Wemos, a Nano shield, a L293D motor shield, a Uno prototyping shield, and Uno. And underneath all this is a bunch of wires, which I already took off some of them, as you can see. There's a ton of wires. There's also multiple bags. In this container are four A4988 stepper drivers with heat sinks in each one of them. There is also two mechanical end stops with wires. In this container, there are two heavy duty stepper motors with the wires for them. Go into there. In this container, there is a DC motor. There's actually two of them. There is a servo motor. There is a record and playback device with speaker, a charger doctor, a relay, another servo, and the second DC motor. There was wires on this, but they fell off. But I just got to solder them back on. Oh, and there's also this and this for the servos. In this container, there's like a whole sensor kit. A vibration sensor. A PIR motion sensor. And here's a 433 megahertz wireless kit. A sound sensor. An optocoupler. An ultrasonic sensor. A flame sensor. A DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, a real time clock, a Bluetooth module, a line tracking sensor, a laser diode, an accelerometer and gyroscope. They call this an impact switch, which is just a micro switch that can go on robots. So when it realizes it hits something to turn around, a short range Wi Fi transceiver. A Hall effect sensor, an obstacle detection sensor, obstacle detection, a short range Wi Fi transceiver, an FTDI, and finally a biometric pressure sensor. Alright, there's quite a bit of stuff in this part of it. So here is a Arduino plug, another Arduino plug for the Nano. A alcohol sensor, two breadboards, a 20 by 4 LCD screen with an IC squared already on, soldered on, a keypad. Right here, this is already in the package, there's two of these, long range wireless, long range wireless transceivers, up to a thousand meters with an antenna. Another Arduino plug for the Mega or Uno, and then and here, finally, is a infrared kit. In this case, there is a 5 volt breadboard power supply, two L298 motor drivers, a gas sensor, and 
a pulse sensor. In this container, there is a rain sensor kit, the RFID reader, an RFID card, the LED matrix, an SD card shield, a camera with a cover, an LCD screen with an IC squared device already on the bot already soldered on, another RFID card, a battery connector, an angle sensor, and a soil moisture sensor kit. And last but definitely not least is the car kit. It has a two layer car cassie, the screws, nuts and bolts and wires, the motors, and the four wheels. Along with sensors you can add on to it. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. I will have a description in below with the link to the kit. Also, over here, there's also a link to the kit. Please like and subscribe. See you guys.